The crying started like day one. After a couple of weeks, he started crying during the day and at night, pretty much all day long. It was continuous, it just seemed to get louder. It was a tough time. I almost feel desperate to kind of find out if there's something wrong, if there's something wrong with the formula, if there's something wrong with the bottles, if there's a special swing out there, if there's, you, you go through this checklist in your head, you know, every day, just trying to figure out how you can get your, your baby to stop crying and soothe your baby. It can be overwhelming. It, oftentimes it feels isolating. The parent feels like they have the only baby in the world that is a crybaby. The important thing is to understand is that this is normal development. This is just how they, they function, their brains work. And um, it's just their way of releasing stress as well. The Period of Purple Crying is a program that helps parents understand about crying. Um, and crying is a normal infant development. All babies go through some stage of purple crying. Um, some babies may not cry as much, whereas other babies cry hours at a time. Purple is uh, an acronym that describes the six characteristics of an infant's crying. So the P is the peak of crying. Crying usually starts at around two weeks of age. It increases to about two months of age, and it starts to get better about four months of age. U is unexpected. It's when baby just cries, just unexpectedly. It's spontaneous. Really doesn't have anything to do with feeding or diapering. It goes beyond that. R is resist. They resist soothing. So no matter what the parent does, the baby continues to cry, and that can be very frustrating for the parent. The second P is for pain-like face. So it appears that they're crying and they look like they're in pain, um, but it's just their appearance. So L is long-lasting. It can be anywhere from on an average of 35 to 45 minutes and go as much as two to three hours, and that can be very frustrating for a parent to have to listen to a baby cry for hours at a time. And then finally, E is evening. Um, it tends, the crying tends to be the highest during the evening. This is where the parents are coming home from work. They've been caring for the baby all day and um, it's just overwhelming for the parent. And the important thing to know about the purple crying is it is the period of purple crying. So there is a period, there is a beginning and it is an end to this. Sometimes you'll find that one method will work and work really well like on one particular day. You know, that could be rocking or, and then on another day, you know, it could be like holding him on your shoulder and like patting him. Just something that's kind of soothing and helps, you know, reassure baby, I guess. There was once or twice I did put him in his crib for a few minutes, shut the door, walked away. I gave myself a, a couple minutes to take a deep breath, mm -hmm. kind of calm down. So some of the tips to, to consider is just try to do anything to soothe your baby, whatever feels right for you and whatever is safe. So walk, talk, sing, um, give baby a bath, go for a car ride, of course, put baby in, in the car seat. Anything to help soothe baby. And just understand, though, that there are times where you may not be able to soothe the baby and the baby will continue to cry no matter what you do. And it's at these times when you are so frustrated and maybe angry that you need to put baby in a safe place. Put baby in the crib or their playpen and walk away, go drink water, um, go wash your face. And the most important thing is no matter how angry you are, it's never okay to shake a baby. Um, shaking a baby can lead to devastating injuries, uh, particularly to the brain. Uh, they can have cere cerebral palsy and, and worse, such as death. Share the program, the Peer to Papa Crime program is there to be shared, not just to keep it with the family, with the parents, but to share with anybody who takes care of baby, grandparents, neighbors. You're, you may have a neighbor that just questions, why is your baby crying all the time? This is the perfect opportunity to educate your neighbors on why your baby's crying. I think his crying peaked at about four or five weeks. Looking back in reflection every month after that, he did get better, it didn't feel like it in the moment, yeah. but he really was. The crying was getting less by month two, month three. If I could go back and, and do it again, I would 
tell myself to stop looking for a reason and just be with your baby. And yeah. Except it's going to get better, that's for sure. Yeah, it will take time, but you'll get there. For more information about the program, you can contact Kapiolani or visit their website.